So, not going to get as close as I got last time. Kind of a trend. We're getting closer and closer and closer, and we're going to back up a little bit. To give you a reason why I get close like this and then far away, is so that after the bumper video, whenever I'm doing my editing, it's easier for me to just easily figure out where my intro stops and then the video starts. But, tonight is a crazy cool vaping experiment. Um, tomorrow will be the Ithaca final review and breakdown. I've got a second one coming since my wife absolutely straight jacked the one that I bought at VaporCon, Vape Bash. So, what we're going to talk about today is a neat little trick I came up with with an HH357 and a cardo tank. And here we go. So we'll start out with a vape. The juice in here is one of the juices of the trip for me for Vape Bash. It is called Blue Voodoo from Mr. E Liquid and it is some really good stuff. It's like a, a blueberry raspberry happy mix of holy hell it's good. only from a 357. So, before Vape Bash, never really played a lot with Dripping Addies. It's kind of a new thing for me, and I'm not done with Genesis's, and I'm not done with High Ends. Um, I'm just playing right now, as I've got a uh, Cinesis coming in tomorrow, which a review will be coming for that. The Ithaca Full Breakdown and Final Review will be coming uh, tomorrow. Um, quite a bit of other pretty nice cool uh groovy stuff coming in so uh don't hold against me using you know an addy here but i did come up with a very cool trick what i did was well i was just sitting there thinking that i said to myself earlier today self why has nobody put an addy that performs like a 357 in a cardo tank so i was pondering on a vape Why has nobody done that? I guess, I don't know, nobody figured it out, or maybe they have, maybe I'm late to this party. But what I did was so simple, I thought, you can punch a Cardo, maybe you could punch an Addy, a dripping Addy. So initially I did that, and I was getting too much juice into it, and I punched it right where the mesh filler material is in a 357. And I was getting a bit too much juice in it, so what I did, if I can get a good focus, is I took a piece of mesh and I crammed it in each one of those holes. So basically what you have is a piece of mesh crammed into a bunch more mesh that's at the bottom of the Addy, which is the juice well of the 357. Do you notice I've been vaping and there's no juice leaking out the bottom? It's working really, really good. Let's take an up close vape. Now, every once in a while, because this doesn't auto feed either. Focus. Every once in a while, I'll give it a sharp. I won't get any bubbles because it's kind of feeding mesh CE2 style, I guess. Oh, there goes my MacBook. <coughs> it's kind of feeding like mesh CE2 style, mesh into mesh. But it's not leaking. I'm not getting any dry hits. If I feel it to get a dry, I give it a hard. And again, so here we are back to this trend of dripping without dripping. This is not auto feeding. This is assisted feeding. 
but it's working fantastic. Now, if you want to try this, get you a long barrel Addy. Um, what I ended up putting it in is in a lava tank. And at the top, the lava tank would not fit. The lava tank top would not fit. So this is a VPX Cardo tank top with a Mark Bugs drip tip, my absolute favorite. And yeah, it's just working so well. <coughs> For any of you that drip, you should know, as much as I've been sitting here vaping on this, it would have done gone dry without dripping. But it's not. So if you want to try this experiment, do it at your own risk. This was just my experience with this. Um, it's working really, really well for me. You will have to basically burn a $20 Addy. Um, for me, the experiment was worth the result. Uh, this will definitely be something that uh, I will include in my rotation. I'm really enjoying it. So... Uh, Give it a try if you've uh, if you got the resources to just you know burn a 357 or any long barrel Addy to give it a try. Um, again, punch your holes kind of right into the mesh well when you punch your holes. Then take uh, I actually took this I took uh, some mesh I rolled it up between my fingers really really fine and then I took this needle and I actually pushed it in there. And again, if you see there's a little bit of mesh sticking out in my tank out of each hole. Worked like a champ. Looking forward to the Ithaca tomorrow when my new one comes in. I'm going to do the fresh build on it on camera and uh, do the final thoughts on it. So be strong, vape on. Jimmy JCUS, YouTube, Facebook. See you again next time.